Hola everybody and Feliz Año Nuevos. I know it's been a really long time since I've put up a video. I am really sorry about that. Um, after the last like bouts of videos I put up, I was in the crust, crux, yeah, the crux of midterms and um, projects that um, because I'd gone back to school last semester. And I'm still in school. Uh, I've decided to take a couple of certificate courses to help robust my resume moving forward. And it's been a long time since I've done um, coursework. And so I had to get back into the swing of things. And unfortunately, some family matters happened. Health stuff has happened to with my family where I had to focus on taking care of them, taking care of that, and a little less time on, well, a little less time and the ability to record like I was wanting. I was hoping to get back to a regular schedule of recording and uploading. I still have some very old videos I recorded that I need to finish editing and finally put up, which will hopefully be going up soon, but I know I always say that. Um, if you haven't guessed, this is kind of like a mini vlog, State of the Media Punker, yet again. It doesn't mean I've forgotten about you guys. I've had a lot of plans set out. I've done a couple of networking. I'm basically trying, if it hasn't been obvious in my previous videos, to get into the gaming industry. I want to be part of the change there for representation and inclusivity and then just diversifying because more options in games or types of games is better everyone everyone wins and i think and it's one of the main reasons why i wanted to have this channel was to media punk well punk the media in in not the ashton kutcher way to show that we're not you know just i know i've said this before um, that we're not just trying to show that we're outsiders because we're not outsiders even though everyone views us as outsiders like we've always been there we've always been around and we contribute and we like things like other people like things so i've been fortunate enough to live in a city where i can go to events and on my spare time try to focus and network with people make new friends made a great friend with the owner and creator of Nascent Games, and I'm probably mispronouncing that, from Sacramento, G Gabriel. Um, he's an awesome person. He's pushing out a game that I've been planning to actually record the first chapter of because I just love it. I won't speak too much about it right now. Um, I will link to his company below and the game so that you guys can check it out before I get a chance to make a video of it because it's fun and quirky and yeah. Anyways, so I've been going to networking events. I've been trying to help out. Um, I don't think I made a video post TwitchCon. I honestly don't remember. I did go to TwitchCon last year. I've gone for the, since it started, so for the past two years. I had a fortunate opportunity to work for Tanya to pass of I Need Diverse Games. She needed someone to man the table because she was unfortunately at another convention that was happening at the same weekend. So I took care of that. Um, it was part of Inclusivity City, which is what Twitch decided to add on to TwitchCon, which was an area where people could talk about the things we don't really talk about in game industry or there's a few people that have been talking about it like I Need Diverse Games but hasn't been reaching like the broader audience um, so I was happy to be there to represent her nonprofit organization and doing what I've been talking about uh, critiquing games that does have diversity or lack of and trying to help people get into it, try to raise up the voices of the people who are already trying to get into it, or just started and have games or opinions or anything like that um, to make light, make known to everyone else. So that was really fun. I'm really grateful that I was able to help out there. Um, I never got around to, I had planned to write a few articles about it, about my experiences working um, 
as one of the booth people this time instead of just being a gamer. Because a lot changed since the first year I went where I was just a casual gamer fan checking everything out and trying to just promote my YouTube channel. Here, I was still trying to promote my YouTube channel, but I was also mainly focusing on promoting I Need Diverse Games. And then I was lucky enough to, from the different games collective, sorry, I just, I'm still recovering. Uh, I got to be an ambassador for them for GDC, the Game Developers Conference that just happened this past week. That, well, this past week in which I've recorded, I'm not sure when this goes up, hopefully in the next couple of days. <laughs> so it's still relevant. That was my first time being at GDC, despite living here in San Francisco my entire life. I was just never motivated enough to go to the Student Friday days, which um, is a lot cheaper. And at least you get to expose yourself to the industry and try to like get your name out there. I learned a lot. I learned a lot from the different games collective and the people that they brought in for that, from the panels that I went, the few panels I did manage to go to, from walking the floor, going to parties, and like 99% of it was positive. There was a couple of negatives um, for what I want to do in the game industry, like the dream job is to be a game narrative designer, and that can mean a lot of things technically, but it's just being a writer. I want to be able to build worlds, create characters, or create dialogue or situations, and bring my voice, a queer Latina's voice, into it, which I don't think there's much of in games nowadays. Um, there are other aspects I wouldn't mind being going into, community manager, social media marketer, events coordinator. They're all things I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about a lot of things, actually. So, but it's yeah, it was an eye-opener. Um, if people are interested, I can either attempt later on, uh, write a vlog, not write a vlog, either write a blog post about uh, my feelings and, and what I've learned about going to GTC, or make another vlog post like this dedicated to just that. I will say again, I'm grateful for everyone that I met. Even if I didn't hand you my, my card and we just chatted a bit, um, it was still, it was, I met a lot of great people. I don't think I met anyone that wasn't open to listening to what I had to say that seemed very negative, at least in person, because, you know, online there's more likely to be trolls in the tags than anything. Um, but yeah, in person, everyone was fantastic. Um, you will be seeing a couple of videos posted that are more recent that I've done for school for my game certificate actually um one will be talking about gdc even though now that gdc's passed but it was recorded before gdc started i actually had hoped to upload that before gdc but i spent so much time preparing for classes in prep of going to gdc and prepping for gdc itself so but I still need to have that uploaded. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, that was done in a proper school studio, so a little bit better lighting and such, I hope, um, than my setup here. I am going to try to stream on Twitch. I don't know if I'm going to do the dual uh, Twitch YouTube that some people do. I don't know if my computer can handle it, even though I now have a graphics card update and a RAM update, so I can run Overwatch very prettily. Um, so if I do do those, I will probably do them without mic. Actually, no, no, I have this new mic, so it seems to be doing pretty well. So probably without my webcam. Um, there are certain games I may do webcamless, like read only memories. I've done that way. I've been dying to play Watch Dogs since it came out, Watch Dogs 2, because it's in my city. I probably not to yeah, I probably won't have a webcam for that, but I want to critique it and praise it and do all those lovely things about my city a lot, so I'll probably be yes, starting another game series with that soon. I am also planning to do a lot of streaming with creatively, either building stuff or 
uh, streaming my writing or the game dev I'm doing for my classes, which I will link to my Twitch account below. Uh, thank you everyone for your support. Uh, to the new people that I've met who've recently subscribed, thank you so much for taking a chance on me. I hope you enjoy all my older works, despite all the kinks I was going through them in like uploading uh, with the audio and video and all that good stuff that happens when you're new at this. Oh, uh, I do want to mention I'm tentatively thinking of creating a podcast series. I may upload to YouTube with some lame <laughs> graphics so that it's on YouTube, but I think I'll also put it somewhere else where most people tend to find podcast series. That was also done for a class last semester, talking about geekdom and Latinidad, and we only had to do one episode for that for to get a good grade, so with all the time crunch and everything that happened in the last couple months of 2016. I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. I would like to get other people's opinions on it. Um, I might do it as a monthly thing. Ideally, I would love it as a weekly thing, but I am horrible, as you can tell, with time management and getting things uploaded in a scheduled way. <laughs> so I'll either be producing that in a monthly, bi-monthly way and have it be longer than what I had for the first episode. Or I may possibly be guesting on other people's podcasts now that I have a decent mic and um, not relying on my webcam's mic. So we'll see about that. Um, but I am excited for those possibilities in the future. I will finish all the game series I started, the only one I probably won't and I think I'm going to be abandoned is one of the are the two steampunk flash games, mini flash games. For sure the covert one because I still playing it, I still don't really see very much steampunky. It just seems like just typical common world world war two era espionage. I mean it's good, but it doesn't, even though it was listed as steampunk, it doesn't feel like steampunk, and I'd rather not continue that. If you guys want me to, I can, and I'll just move it out of the steampunk category I'd set it in. Um, let me know. Um, and then the other one, which was the little platformer. Um, unfortunately, I keep losing my saves because it saves locally to Chrome, and I keep cleaning out my Chrome because it builds up. <laughs> well, at least before my, I got a RAM upgrade, so I don't know if I want to keep playing it to get to that point where I was in the last video or not. Um, I did recently get some actual steampunk games, so I may start up some of those. I have tons of games I want to play with you guys. Um, in theory, they'll all be YouTube. There are a few I may do on Twitch exclusively or at least a playthrough of twitch exclusively i don't know yet um and i definitely want to start another genre series like this name punk ones and that's star trek because that's a genre in itself because i people who've met me especially if you met me at gdc i'm a big big trekkie i talked one of the uh writers ears off at gdc after his bridge crew panel talk about writing and like incorporating writing into VR and into a multiplayer aspect and that was probably the geekiest I've ever been when it came to I guess Star Trek and it's something I've been wanting to do for a while was go through all the old school Star Trek games that I got recent not recently sometime last year during a GOG sale and play through and critique the storylines just like everything else and it's just yeah i think that would be a fun little series to do if there are any games you guys would like to see me play let me know i've been slowly building up my steam library in hopes of actually playing and recording for you guys i will also link to my steam library below so that way you guys can look at what i already have and see if there's anything you want me to put like higher up on the list and sometime either this week or next week because i'm still playing a little bit of catch up with school work and gdc networking <laughs> well at least replying back to all the awesome people i met um during that week 
I'll start. Re I'll upload the videos that I still have left that I had recorded a long time ago. Once I think only one or two of them still needs final edits, and then I'll attempt to start recording new things, either continuing the series that are still open, or doing a few others. Um, thank you guys very much for listening to me ramble for about what ten plus minutes. And I'm really looking forward to producing a lot more stuff this year, in 2017. Um, to growing the media punk community. And to show people in the game industry and outside the game industry, everywhere that, you know, different people are around. We enjoy the same things. And we deserve to be heard. So until next time, Diana Moon says.